What's up everyone? It's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing you another video today and you know what time it is. American Horror Story is back. We have a special season this season with a double feature. The creators told us that we we're going to be getting two like I don't know if they're going to be coinciding stories or just two separate stories but we're getting two this season. An American Horror Story Red Tide. I caught the first episode or Cape Fear and I believe the second episode was called Pale. So I'm, this is the first two episodes of Red Tide. So let's dive into this. This is going to be some spoilers today. So if you haven't seen these episodes, definitely be warned. Spoilers ahead. Let's get into this video. Roll it. A lot of the reoccurring actors are coming back for the season, like Evan Peters, Finn Whitrock, Sarah Polson, all of them are coming back. But we also have some newcomers too, like Macaulay Culkin. It was exciting to see him back on TV or like back in movies on screen. Like, oh, it was just really amazing. And this one we get to follow a writer. It kind of has like that shining aspect to it a little bit. We get to follow a writer as he takes his family and they move to this new Cape, like Cape Tide area, you know, housing area near a beach. Very nice setting, maybe a place to get inspired, you know, for your next book or your next creation. You know, definitely a really nice setting for sure. And Finn Whitrock plays our main protagonist as he has his wife, who she is pregnant, played by Lily Rab. And then we have his daughter character as well. And we get to see them as they really get, kind of get in their niche, being comfortable at their home. But then as something kind of goes on, as he's trying to get inspired, he's a writer. He has writer's block. And you can see, like, it's just not working for him as easy as it should. You know, he wants to be writing some really good stories, some really rich stories. And he thought this new area, new setting would help him out. And we also have Adina Porter coming back to play our cop. She's the sheriff of this town. And once, like, some things start to happen, like when the family gets basically like the daughter and the uh the mom they get chased by like this crazy vagrant character who chases them all the way to the house and when they call adina porter's character the cop like you can tell this town there's there's something weird about this town you know what i mean they're trying to cover things up they're like keeping it hush hush they don't really think anything's too dangerous you know it's just there's something going on in this city Another thing I really do like about these first two episodes so far is just like the tone, the colorization of it. It's got these really gray, like kind of dark gray, dark blue kind of tones. You know, everything kind of has this real aesthetic and look to it. And I like that feel, you know, it kind of it's kind of getting you comfortable and relaxed like the tones just kind of get you relaxed but you know something's going on and as it progresses and you see the episodes like i knew right off the bat we were getting some vampire vibes i can kind of see that right off the bat that's where we were getting but where it leads into i think it's a really good new take on the vampires you know what i mean we've seen a couple throughout history of films and tv shows where they've tackled vampires in like kind of a new way but i think this one is pretty tight for sure so as Finn Whitrock's character, as he's diving in and like staying in, like trying to get, trying to get his writing going, he's really just like, oh, he's so frustrated, and you can tell, like he's just having sick writer's block. Then he meets these people played by Evan Peters and the other character. I forgot, I forgot her actress's name, but she's also been in a lot of the episodes too in seasons of American Horror Story, and they kind of show him the way of like telling him there's something we can give you you know what i mean you know talk to me kind of like teasing him with this little thing like oh you know we have the we have the solution for you we have something that we can give you and your inspiration is just going to flow and you're going to write so much better so at first he's not really into it he's just kind of like uh but then he goes to visit even evan peter's character and he gives him these pills like they're little black pills in a bag and he's like you know take one and it's just going to keep flowing you have no idea man like your writing will just become like effortless and he's uh, wants to listen to them because they're like famous writers and famous creators and he's following them he's like famous like followed them too and he knows them and he just wants that inspiration and he can feel it and he's not tempted at first but of course evan peters gives them the pills slips it to him he's like you know what just try it just try it and see what happens but of course after finn whitrock's character tries it and like oh man you can see like his character the way he changes he does really good in these episodes of like being like that kind of like struggling writer and you can tell he's frustrated to going to having that creativity just flow and things are just coming out of him he's writing pages like no tomorrow the wife and the daughter are like damn but even his daughter noticed and saw that he took a pill 
and that you know she even thinks like something you know he took something to inspire himself so oh man it's really cool because the season you can tell they're going to tackle things like addiction like that's why i like american horror stories because they always find a cool scientific or horrific way to tackle things that are just natural and realistic life so as I said, we have that shining aspect in this one as we have a struggling rider who really wants to just get things going and will take it to the next level by trying something that he's never tried before. And then we see like, oh man, like how is that going to influence on his daughter? And she's a violinist. She likes playing music. She's a musician. And oh, of course, you know, that's going to translate into, you know, what she wants to be and how she thinks she should be. So when she starts talking, she's like, oh, me and dad are like this in her reference when she's talking to the mom you can tell like the way his actions are throughout these two episodes it's definitely having an impact on his daughter's character but as we know you know when you have success and you crave success and you finally reach it you know something happens like you know you need that you need more and like as he finds out finn whitrock's character these pills to sustain <clears throat> the kind of influence and the like inspiration that they give you and all that stuff you have to drink blood and that's where the whole vampire aspect comes in and that's where i think this show's really on the cutting edge of something new when it's tackling kind of an addiction aspect but also throwing in vampirism you know what i mean i really do like that because i've seen a lot of different vampire films and tv shows and this one is kind of a cool little new take that I really did enjoy. It's not too, too scary so far, as I would say, and not too graphic or gruesome, but it just has a really cool feel to it, a good vibe, and I like where this one's going in the setting and the story. It's interesting, but it's definitely not the most gruesome or most gory or scariest that we've seen of the American Horror Story so far, but I'm still very interested and intrigued. So let me know what you all thought of these first two episodes. Did you enjoy these first two for Red Tide? Like, I can't wait for the rest. And like I said, to find out what this double feature, if it's going to lead into something else. Because we know American Horror Story, when they did Apocalypse, they kind of tied all their seasons together. Then they did the 1984 one. So I want to see what this double feature is going to be. Is it going to be two completely different stories? Or are they going to be connecting stories? Let me know in the comment section what you all thought of it. And don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button. It definitely helps out the channel. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.